was nuts. How did he hang on to that? Taking a look at these lap times. Well, let's go to this replay here. Now watch Kennard. Goes wide right here. Triples. Oh! Oh, oh no! If that oh, was deep in cow. the race, if that was deep in the race, and other riders were coming oh. down that, that double, 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 double section, that could have been There was horrible. just shortly after that, Jeff. Oh, man, that could have been just Yeah, I don't, even want, I don't even want to think of that. No! <laughs> man, that holds the guy's ball. How impressive that no one hit him. What? Oh, 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 and that's Kenya. Minia. And he's gone down. He has gone down. Oh, oh no, he's no, not. He's ridden it out. <laughs> How did he not <laughs> lay on the ground there? All the way up and over. That is just, that is Ricky Carmichael-esque from back in the day. Just not willing to let it go. Ride it all the way to the ground, RC always used to say. And that was, that was the kind of attitude that we saw there. That's rider number 19, Mike LaRocco, out of LaPorte, Indiana. He'll be aboard a Yamaha. Time ran out for Matasevich as his bid fell short on the last lap. Morocco, meanwhile, had a scary moment on the final go-round as he did his impression of Bronco Billy with his Yamaha cast in the role of Bucking Bronco. The LaPorte, Indiana native recovered and kept it up on two wheels long enough to earn the bragging rights as the first winner of the East vs. West 125 Supercross campaign. right behind you, it's a little uh, insurance policy, you know, just... Oh, 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 oh. What happened there? Yeah, watch this comes out. This is what we said about this track. This hits that little... Uh, look at this. I mean, that is... That... And what's weird is, we showed in slow motion, but in a rider's head, this is all happening in slow motion. You just going... Oh, no, because there's nothing worse than the feeling of going over the bars. You know that motorcycle is going to tackle you. Yeah, almost a front flip, but then... Triple right there. Cross is right in front of the podium. They come back across. And then down. Oh, watch out! Hang on! Riding through it is the 126 of Smith. Oh, man, that was a wild ride. Watch the 126 here of Ooh. Smith. He gets up oh. on the front wheel, hand comes off, and saves it. Nice and clean just one second ago. Look at them now. Now watch the move coming up on the part of Cooper. He's airing it out, and he's going to almost lose it. Watch this. Off the motorcycle. Back down. He takes a couple of running steps beside it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. If he flipped off the back. Why he didn't let go of the motorcycle when he was way up in the air is beyond me. That seems like it would have been the safest thing to do. And not too. He figured had not for the safest. Oh, by the way, look at two Yamahas around yeah. that Honda. Maybe a coincidence, who knows. Mm -hmm. Revs are up. Let's go racing here at Pala. A uh, pretty quick gate drop. Where are our championship runners, Ferrandis and Jeremy Martin? Watch the left-hand side of the screen on the replay here for the number six. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, how did he save that? How did we miss that? But yeah, that was, yeah, we missed that one. But, you know, off the track, a lot of times you get water run off and it's not packed. You can see how soft that was. And the 63 of Mel Ross. He's on the 5150 Energy Drink Yamaha. Oh, Hayden almost comes flying off the machine. Talk about a bone jarring hit. Wow, yeah. that was suspension crunching. Yeah, we talked about, uh, what was it, Wharton coming up short earlier. This was even a harder hit, but hasn't really stalled him out. He's regrouped. Ricky Carmichael going for his fourth win here in St. Louis of all time. He's won in 125s. He's won in 250s. He's going for his 40th overall as well. Watch this in the look. Well, when you got going as fast as Ricky Carmichael is, that thing is rocking, and he got a little on the edge of the rut. The bike danced, and he just held on the throttle. Look, oh. Comes flying in the whoops. That guy is so strong. He's Lance Armstrong in motocross. He's an animal. Look at him take hot swap. He hits his last bump. The thing kicks to the left. He lands. 
he goes, he doesn't even miss a beat. Had that thing gone right to the left, he would have gone down. But I got to ask you about that save. How did you save that bike through the whoops? I don't know, man. Uh, I got a, a, you know, a lucky horseshoe, I guess. Uh, you know what? Uh, I just got luck on my side and, and the strength from uh, my trainer, Eldon Baker, you know, I was able to hold on to that dog and uh, it was a heck of a ride for sure. He shows you what it's like to move around on a motorcycle more than just about anybody, but that's the advantage he has with his height. So he, oh, oh, my totally goodness. sideways. I don't know how he didn't crash. <laughs> Yeah, he landed at the side of the hill. I mean, we use that terminology. He stuffed it. Comes up the inside. Different line. Anderson tries to scrub and then watch. Oh! Back in, comes around. That was probably a few inches away from laying himself down. He's not giving up. No, He's going of course back not. after Tom Of course, course he is. is. Yeah. So there is Balmer, Base Flu. Base Flu, a big kid, man. Following along with our drone footage, Base Flu. Apparently likes to scrub that jump. His foot came off the pegs. He almost high-sided it right there. Both riders missed the triple. That's going to allow DJ Larson, Anderson, Lemoyne, and Sipes. Oh, Durham! Wow! How did he hang on to that? <laughs> You think that will get your heart rate going here as he's clinging by a thread to the lead here. Watch this. Watch Durham. Slides out a little bit. His feet comes off. Does a reverse knack-knack into the pole that keeps you from cutting over that corner and still has the lead. And it's the final lap, too. Watch Dungey here. Here's Dungey. Watch, watch how he comes over. Metcalf is oh. there. And Dungey jumps right over the top of him. Just clips wow. his hand. So that's big as well. So these guys are going to leave it all out there. He's the leader. Joey Savacci is sick. Oh, oh Osborne. Did wow. he go off the track? He How did he hold on to that? He, <laughs> that had to have given him a big wake-up call. The, looked like the front end bounced and washed out, hit the ground, caught, shot back. Watch in the back corner of the screen. Watch the front wheel. Watch. It goes tuck, bounce, and then, oh, uh, oh. I cannot wow. tell you, when it went wrong, it couldn't have gone any better. We saw last week for Ramis, it just went really bad when it went a little yeah. wrong. That right there, the bank saved him. As we look down the bottom end of the circuit, here's Gutche Paulin coming towards us. But Paulin pulling the pin here, respectful of the number 21 Kawasaki rider. Oh, Paulin! Oh, big moment! Just got on the gas. The front end got away from him. Almost took out Sean Simpson inadvertently. Just carries too much speed in, look. Wasn't settled. Almost off the bike. Almost catches Simpson. Simpson goes down, but then somehow retrieves it. And then he just catches the side of the fence there.